Okay, so <laughs> welcome to this video. I'm joined by um, Tris, um, Thomas, as he's as he's better known to his to his mother. Um, <laughs> we're we're here today to talk about uh, what's really a, a, a fantastic project that that we've been working on together um, over the last. It's kind of been a couple of months, hasn't it? Really, to try and get all this together. I think um, so too. Yeah. yeah, which is which is um, the loom now. Uh, brief introduction to how we actually met and got talking um i um had a conversation with trist on twitter um he's he's a writer i'm obviously um a, a, a digital artist and we we talked about potentially doing something together and we at first didn't get an idea and then the more we talked about it the more that the loom just started to make sense um so just first a, a bit more about your background, um, Trist, so that uh, so that the viewers understand. Yeah. Who you yeah, are. you you said it already. I'm I'm a, a writer, a screenwriter actually, and developing serial formats for TV and audio productions. And I also do a little uh, consulting um, for companies in regards to storytelling, especially when they branch out into Web three projects because that's something I, I know my way around. So um, that's what I do. And I started using Midjourney a lot from August this year. And first it was just, you know, the usual, yeah, I can make a whale fly through space things. And then I, I noticed that I can use it pretty well for my uh, screenwriting process. Um, to make visuals for idea idea generation and use it in pitch papers, give producers and uh, more of a feel for what I want to tell, and that's how I met you on Twitter, and uh, yeah, that's my background. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I was generating literally just generating some pictures, and I said, "Hey, I've got these pictures. Feel like I want to do something with them. You know, can anybody connect with someone?" And and yeah, you jumped in and said, "Hey, you know, let's let's talk about this." Yeah. Mid Journey was still it was still back in version three then. I think maybe they just released the, the test version, so it was still pretty pretty rudimentary and very. Those, hard. those those were great though. Did did you did you uh, remix them with the new with the new version already? I've, I've, I've redone them, but but kind of rechange you rechange them again. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, but yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I, and and this is this brings us on to the loom because I had this um, I had this this idea in my head of this um, sort of like American Dust Bowl sort of steampunk mm. dystopian sort of s story in my head that I'd created these different characters for. There's it also a bit like sort of cyberpunky. It's sort of like steampunk cyberpunk blend that I had in my head. Um, and I was just like, it's a really good story. I've got these pictures. How do I do it? And, um, you know, I started looking around. I was like, okay, how can I take these, get them into a, a storybook format and, you know, actually produce something that I can push out to people? And I had a few other people on Twitter saying to me, you know, you're really good, not, you know, your, your art's good, but not only that, but, like, you know, you're good with, with words, which, you know, I... I'm not a professional writer like you, but I do within my business do copywriting for people. Mm. So I suppose I'm professional. People are paying me to do it. <laughs> um, so so yeah. So it was like it it was that. How do I get from having these images in mid journey to having something that I can put in front of people, and they'll be like, yeah, I want I want to I want to buy that. Um, and yeah, we chatted about it, and and we had a look around, and we're like, okay, well we think it's possible to to build a product where you can generate your images do your you know your formatting your presentation put all your speech in put the text in and and create a whole book so obviously you went away you built the the, the minimal viable product for us um we looked at it we played with it showed it a few people behind closed doors they were super excited about it they were just like you've got to do this you've got to do it um so, so this is this is where we've got to really. Mm. Um, right. Yeah. So, from so from my perspective, that was that was I wanted my art to be used for something, you know, because I see that that's probably where you have to go with AI art now. You have yeah. to actually create an end product. 
So you mentioned that very early in our conversations that you yeah. uh, that was a time where you really were thinking about this and. I remember you had some ideas and you were discussing it on your on your Discord server as well with, with people. Yeah. What can you do to get stuff out there and make people actually see your art when they're not in, in that AI Twitter bubble and you have to yeah. reach yeah, out like to other people? Yeah, and create create more value for it. Mm. Yeah, because right. like, you know, the, the images themselves, the the lovely, the great don't really have a lot of value but once you turn it into a story once you turn it into a book then you know you, you you've created something of, of of a lot higher value to people because um, yeah. images are great and i love creating them but being able to put a story together you know i'm a massive reader read you know i've got thousands of books in my house i read some years probably a hundred books um, so you know i've always wanted to 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 do fundamentally what, what we're trying to do so yeah well how about your inspiration what why why did you feel drawn to do this this project well for me it was i i, I experimented with uh, illustrating my my storyboards and my pitch papers and then i started to do some comic strips also or illustrations of stories and i found it very tedious sometimes to generate images with mid journey on discord and then go editing them in photoshop then combining it in word or powerpoint with the text layout i had in place then realizing this does not work at all going back it was such a such a painful process of building stuff that i thought it would be so cool if you had one place where you have all the tools the traditional ones the ai tech and just combine it to get where you really want to go yeah definitely yeah. And, and you know we've had some some great conversations about where we'd like to take the loom uh, the 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 technology has advanced you know beyond what we would have even envisaged it's like, crazy. You know, we got we got chat gpt's come along and you know that's right the great. whole last the, the last i don't know Time feels so strange in this context. It's all moving so fast and people come up with new tools like every day, it seems. Yeah. 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 But we you know, we've talked about obviously embedding the, the, the graphical creation tools within the software, creating the, you know, embedding um, you know, the the, the, the the copywriting AI tools within the software. So that you know, there's 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 one platform where you just jump in there and if you get stuck, if you get a bit of writer's block, you can just get some help. If you're stuck creating a picture, you can just create a picture. Um, so that, yeah, it's just one yeah. place where you go and you can do the, the whole thing, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we've also talked about, hopefully, creating the, 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 the next generation of, let's call it, um, um, like a, a, a narrative work so not only in, um, embedding pictures and words but potentially putting videos in music sound effects things like that so that you know on a device people can have this whole multimedia experience of consuming a story in in various formats now i, I don't know how that's going to play out i don't know how practical it is um but we're, we're at that point you know next year we're going to get um ai animations of some form you know and better ai videos so putting those tools in the hands of people that have the vision to create something is is, is yeah it's going to be amazing isn't it you're right yeah this is what i think the loom uh can, can be a great use case for to have these different types of distribution to an audience like the conventional way and a new way of showing things with as you said the new format of combining sound video animation yeah and that's um you know talking about that about distribution that's i think that's for me is is one of the the things that i think if we get that right and if we get that the community built and built well then that that will you know massively help the artistic community because at the moment mm -hmm. there's, there's a really really bad distribution problem I, you know i've i've been trying to trying to 
uh, market art online myself and twitter seems to be the main place to do it and obviously twitter at the moment is limping along on what happened to twitter it feels strange it, it seems to be limping along on on on, on one last broken leg at the <laughs> moment <laughs> so, somebody needs to put some more coins in the meter um yeah so and it, it's 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 a, it's an awful way to try and connect to 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 an audience as well and and market things um you know it's got it's got some real problems so you know the plans that that we have within the loom to to bring together the creators um and, and the collectors the readers and and have that um that direct dialogue and that direct relationship built up and build a community that works together and uh, that talks with each other and collaborates even you know i think i think if we get that right and i think if we build it to a certain level then it's just going to be so transformational for 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 creative types who often struggle to find their audience find the right work um and absolutely yes and find, find the right co co-workers also exactly yeah yeah you know because we're, we're going to be we're going to be developing this for that niche you know social media you know as as much as it's good it's a, it's a very generic solution to a to a problem whereas we're going to build a specific solution that you know helps connect creatives and and the people that want to you know mm -hmm. want to hear from read see the the work absolutely uh, yeah okay yeah. um so I think let's let's talk about the Kickstarter. Um, obviously, this is this is fundamentally the, the pre-launch video. Uh, we are running a um, a pre-launch art competition, which will be announced on Twitter and various other places um, for um, artists around the world to um, fundamentally design a book cover. Yeah, uh, we had a, we had a chat about this, and we said you know it can be a a, a, an existing book so you could do like a fan fiction book if you want you know cover if you want it it could be something that you've made up that's just completely fictional to you it could be a, a book cover for something that you're planning to do or you're working on just as long as it's you know got that feel of being a book cover um then it's it's, it's fair game for the for the competition which will have cash prizes and the um the other benefits are you know your your work will then get featured on the website so you'll fundamentally have a, a placeholder on the website that announces that you won the art competition which you know massive uh, pro providing the loom you know becomes as big as we believe it can um you know provides massive um, exposure for for the artists that win this competition um so yeah so that, that's the the announcement of the, the pre-launch um of the kickstarter yes uh, okay um so have a quick look at the uh, Kickstarter. Okay. Uh, obviously, we haven't started, so we've got nothing pledged. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're planning to run this um, from the middle of January, um, probably for a month, hopefully, and um, get the interest that we need. Um, both. Trist and I have got development experience. I've been um, a, a business systems consultant for, um, showing my age now, 27 years. Um, so, you know, I've, 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 I've run a web design company. I've built um, software for, for, for big business. Um, I've got a development team already um, that I can, push this work towards um, but obviously we need the, the the additional funds to 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 get this built beyond a minimal viable product to get the community structures in place um and to to bring it to people yeah um so so we've got the 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 kickstarter which tells everybody what it is we're looking to to do and we've got the different levels of um, support 
So if you are a comic fan, you like the idea of what we're building here, uh, but you you know you're not ready to, to commit um, to it, uh, you know in a, in a big way, then you can you know just pledge uh, small support, and then for do, pledging that support, if twelve months down the line you look at the project and you say you know I really like what you've done and I'd like to step in, you then get a, a discount from your subscriptions if you were an, an initial supporter. You know obviously that acknowledge that you were there at the start cheering us on. Okay, uh, the comic lover. Um, if you've already got your ideas or you like the idea of what we want to do and you want to jump in and create your own book, um, then what you what your backing covers is it'll get you um, subscription for the first eighteen months and then ten percent off any future subscriptions. So in effect, you'll you you'll, you'll getting a ten percent discount forever. On um, on using the platform, um, and then let's have a look. Um, okay, comic creators. Yeah, so if you um, if you're looking to create books and you want to jump into the, the the beta test for the software and help us shape the future of the solution and the direction that we take it in. Um, then you can jump in on the comic creator platform, which gives you um, subscription to create for 18 months, subscription to read for 18 months. Uh, and again, the, the discount for um, for future subscriptions. Um, the next the next um, tier is for, as we put it there, the, the, the comic fanatics. So you get the same as the previous tiers. We'll also do some merchandise, which will ship out to you wherever you are. Um, I'll, I'll give you art help with your first books, or you come to me, you say, okay, I'm struggling with these art, artistic concepts or struggling to get things looking exactly how I want. You know, I can help you with that level of things. Um, we'll also have on the website uh, prime locations. So in the same way that, you know, you, you get sponsored slots on websites where people pay to be there, if you jump in as a comic fanatic, when people land on the website, it'll be, look at these creators. These are the works that these creators have got. So you, you're in prime place for, for getting subscribers. Um, you get access not only during beta test, but you get access during alpha test. Now, alpha test will be pretty much starting from, from, from day one. We've already got a, an MVP up there. Um, so the people that, that jump in and do the alpha test you'll be able to jump in straight away start telling us exactly what you want to see the direction that you want us to to take things in help us shape some of the some of the the, the areas where we aren't as clear about how we want it to be you know because with all these things it's it's community that helps you shape it we've got an idea for where we want to take the product but the people that are going to be using it are the ones that are going to say well Actually, it'd be a lot faster in my workflow if we could do this, this, and this, and we can go away and look at it and you know um, build what what people want. Okay, so that tier gets you the alpha testing, uh, and then the final. There's only 25 slots available for that. So obviously, we, we, you know we we can't manage that many people at this level. Um, and then um, for the for the people that really believe in this project and that want to get involved. At the the top level, um, you get all the same as the the, the previous tiers. Um, Trist will give you assistance with your writing um, on that first book. Um, we're going to do a limited edition copy uh, where I'm going to do, you know, the art. Trist is going to do the writing, and that will be released um, to these. And I think did we set it as five people? Yeah, five people. You'll yeah. also get a special mention on the website that you're a patron of the 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 the, the, the project. Um, we'll sort out the first ten copies of your first book, get it printed, get it delivered for you, and we'll also actively promote your work. So we'll promote it on the Loom Twitter feed, which will be kicking off shortly. We'll promote it on our own personal feeds. Um, so you pretty much guaranteed that your book 
your first book is, is going to get printed and it's going to be a success um, if you wanted to go in at that level um, of investment in the project. Um, I think that, that covers the tears. Do you have anything to add to that? I have to add that this was a wonderful, a wonderful summary you did. It was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that's the loom. That's the um, that's the Kickstarter. The, the 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 product is is already working. We've built some basic stuff. If you jump onto the Kickstarter page, um, which will drop the link for the pre-launch, then you'll be able to see the video that we put together and some of the. Um, so some of the graphics actually interested <laughs> probably far better than some of the ones that that I could do. Um, yeah, so <laughs> excuse me, winter cough. Um, so yeah, so that's it. This is that's the pre-launch. Um, we, as I say, we we've spoken to I don't know how many you've spoken to privately. I've spoken to about four people, and they've all pushed me and pushed me. And, and some of them have they've more or less told me off saying like stop dragging your heels just get it done get it <laughs> released because it it fixes that you know this is how i saw it this is this is the first thing i saw when i saw ai art come out i said this is it now art is fundamentally a commodity it's just something that that, that is of use yeah unless you're a yeah. status artist that can sell your work for for high value art is now just a commodity um so it's the tiers above that that are needed to help people use that art to generate something that you know is is, is then a, a, a greater product than than what the individual pieces are so yeah that's that's why we built the loom um you know i say risks for the project we've already got the the, the minimal viable product product um for the actual creation we've got some some bits to do around that to make it better we've got to build a community site um you know and get um, right. get that all going um i think the est is saying that the estimated delivery is is april on there i think yeah i think we, we talked about it we said probably within three months we feel like we could have a, a decent beta uh, working for people um so that's that's where we're that's what we're looking for now for those people that are using ai art, i think by april we'll definitely have version five of mid journey i know david holtz has said that version five um the ability to um narrate the scene let's call it is, is going to be a lot better so the ability to kind of like say i want somebody doing this with that and this and here and that He's going to be a lot better. So using this to create your art, you'd be able to create, you know, different pictures to create a comic book or whatever. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know what stable diffusion is going to be, but stable diffusion is already fairly good at being able to, um, you know, create specific pictures um, of things in that regard. Um, so that timeline, you know, I think we, I think we, we timed it perfectly for for the delivery of what what people need um the loom for um so yeah there's a link you can see down below that will take to the pre-launch we're also are we opening up the discord community well, yeah i think we should open it uh for the uh competition already don't we yeah for the competition and if anybody's got any questions on the kickstarter or any feedback um they can jump in the discord uh and obviously the interest will be there to answer any questions and you know um, help people out so the link for that will be down below as well um right i think i think that for me covers everything that i wanted to talk about is there anything else that you wanted to cover no i i agree with everything you said i just want to mention i'm really excited how this how this will be going and looking forward to developing this yeah no it should, should be an exciting time ahead for us yeah uh, especially absolutely. as you said with so much new stuff coming in the next few months this will be pretty exciting yeah i've got i've got so much art already um that i want to use um i came up with this crazy concept the other night and i'm just like oh that needs to be a story um 
So, <laughs> so I've, I've got all this art and I just want to get it into books and get the stories behind awesome. it. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, you know, that's one of the other things as well. We're, we're going to be on there doing our own work. Um, yeah, we might be able to throw some, yeah. might be able to throw some other freebies in for people that jump in early on. Um, you know, it's going to be... Uh, be fairly easy going in, in that regard um i think i think that's it i think that's it. We've, we've talked about everything um i hope everybody else that, that sees this video sees it as as such an exciting opportunity as well because the ability to create something and have people sat there ready to consume it you know that have that pure connection with with an audience uh and that dialogue is I think it's going to be groundbreaking, uh, definitely. Uh, and the ability to, to generate work so quickly as well, uh, which is what AI brings to people. You know, I, I, I can see that we're going to potentially have um, authors and creatives that are just they're coming in and dropping a few pages of a book each day and people going like, oh, that's really good, right, right, what would you do? You know, and potentially, you know, there'll be interactive stories. We can do interactive storytelling in the community, things like that. Um, yeah. Super excited. Okay, any final words, Trist, before we... Final words? Oh, man. Yeah. I was so uh, so captured by your by your talking, sure. and I didn't think of any final words. And do you have final words? I think just... You can yeah. cut in at the end of the video when you cut out my mumbling right now. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. I think... Because what what I've seen, and I've I've been I've been doing the AI art, I think for five months now, and I've seen so many people come into doing AI art and then do it for a few weeks, a month, two months, not get anywhere with like, well, what what do I do with this? How do I monetize right. it? What what is the what is the benefit of doing it? And then they just they stop doing it. Yeah, because, because you know the. The, the ability to turn it from like a little bit of something you're playing around with into something where you going like, okay, well that's, that's a viable hobby or even a profession. Yeah. And, and being able to, being able to give people that opportunity to, to take the, 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 the art that they're creating and easily turn it into something that people, you know, can consume, I think is, is, you know, it's very dear to my, very, very dear to my heart because I've always struggled to get a final product out. You know, there's a lot of moving parts, um, which is what I discovered when I started trying to do it. It's like, okay, well, I've got to create pages. I've got to do this layout. I've got to do that layout. Then I've got to find some way to distribute it. I've got to print it out. And then I've got to figure out how to market that. Um, and, I, and I'll be honest, I just thought, I, I don't know if I have the time or the patience to do it. So to, to contract all that down, into one platform i think yeah people are just going to be like this is this is exactly what i need i now understand why i'm creating this art i think th those mm -hmm. are my final words is that's what i wanted to do i wanted to give people a reason to create their art uh, because it's been an amazing outlet for me and you know i think it will be for, for a lot of other people those are my final words, anyway. Let's, yeah. let's make this. Let's make this our final words for the project. All right, brilliant. Right, it, it was. It, it was lovely chatting with you. Obviously, we chatted quite <laughs> a few times. Um, I hope everyone jumps on the pre-launch, has a look at it, joins the competition as well. Yeah, join the competition. Yeah. Join, join us on the Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Um, you know, and let's make this community, um, you know, an awesome community of storytellers. Um, Thanks for watching. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Drew. Bye. See you soon.